This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal barrowmen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfswood, they, have har they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses, seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. I don't know what voice that is, it's just a uh, narrator voice. I can't do Lee from uh, Walking Dead. Let me know how the audio is, guys. While we play here, I can adjust it. I don't know if I have subtitles turned on. I should probably change that. They're drinking and singing. Look at that horse. The great Jamie Lannister, Looks great. Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. By the this men of the North. You think he done it? In Hold on, let me uh, turn on them subtitles because they're not. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Yeah, you clean off that blood. Oh. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. <laughs> Ugh. Gross. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? Yeah, someday. You'll never have a sword like that. You don't know that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, why, why not? not? They don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I'm not always going to be a pig I farmer. Had handy, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. Ask any man here and they'll say it was them. You captured <coughs> the Kingslayer. Ah. <coughs> well, I had a hand in it, I... <coughs> Round what was your hand in it? others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. And not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. <laughs> You're questioning Norrin's honor. Oh, I'm shit. questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. I don't take orders from you. No, but you take orders from him. You idiot, you're his squire. And fetch him some wine. God damn it. I'll get you some Thank wine, you, I God. suppose. I'll do it. Oh. Did you overhear Lawrence that? Lawrence's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Ha 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 ha! I get it. Maybe. I, I don't know. That's your call. I'm assuming that dude's the night uh, we celebrate. Norrin. What we were just talking to. I don't know if that's his last name or just his first name. He's letting me have some wine. Yay! The Rob Stark! The King in the North! The, the King, King of the North! North! I know. Orok, I watched the show. on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Something tells me that Orok, some shit's gonna go down. To Casterly Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. The North remembers! Aye. Yeah, the North remembers. I added one in there too. Got it. Hey, what's going on, dude? Yes, what, Lord Forrester? He is me, Lord. To keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. What do you Been mean? Been on my that? mind for a while now. What do you mean? What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What uh, can I offer you? You serve me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. Yeah. There were those who had their doubts Thanks, when man. your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. 
Not as what if I get killed? But as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. What if I die? Am it's I trained? Well deserved, I won't let I you down. Lord. I promise. I won't let you down. I won't let you down, my lord. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. And find Roderick if you can. Okay. I will, my lord. I don't know who Roderick is. But I'm gonna find him. Because you're being so nice to me. I don't have to be a squire anymore. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? I'm no longer a squire. Come on. Make it up to you. No problem. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. I said, yeah, no problem. What's what's the problem here? I don't I don't get it. I didn't say no. What the fuck was that shit? Wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Hey, there's no need to curse here, all right? See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. I'd blown up covered in big shit. This guy's shit starting to be a dick now. I was trying to be I nice. Saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? But not by much. We're no different. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. Whoa! All right, this guy's kind of an asshole. I'm no longer wanting to be nice to you, All you I'm little shit lord. Is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. Squires have a place. Oh, I know. We could be squires for life. Well, then, with that attitude, you Lime fucking will be. Fucking wedding. Enough whining. I'm sick of listening to your whine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than exactly. This. Crazy for you, you little say. shit. Maybe if my uncle were Castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, you just right said I was. Uh, my father was a pig farmer. The twin stronghold of House Frey, the Red Wedding. Oh, the Red Wedding. Ooh. Ooh. Take your time. That's still good. Bad things are about you to happen. You have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. That ominous music, though. Fucking phrase. Oh, fucking nice phrase. Night for a wedding. Yeah, shit's gonna happen, dude. I know shit's Nothing about to go down. A willing husband for one of his daughters. Dude, people are gonna fucking die. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Dude, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta get what? the fuck out of here. What's wrong? We gotta get the fuck out of here. Dude, dude, dude. Just into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagging already. Run. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. I will. We Fuck that guy, he's dying. Others. Good luck. <laughs> Told ya! I knew you were gonna die. <gasps> run! <gasps> you little shit, run! Come on! Run! Get the fuck out of here! That's a really cool time to place the start of the game. That's awesome. Red Wedding was fucked up. Oh, that's Roderick. Roderick, get him! Nice job, dude. One day I'll have a sword like that. Hey, fuck you, you little bitch. I'm gonna put this blade in your fucking face. Yeah! God damn it, Roderick's dead. Grab Roderick's sword. Or, or run away. Or run away. Ready, boys! Fuck it. Oh. Come on, help him. Help him. Shoot that one! You little shite! There you go. Yeah! Get in there! Get in that shit! 
Let's see how much of- Oh shit. No! Yes! It's so hard to differentiate who's who's a good guy and a bad guy. They all kind of look the same. Look out! Crawl forward to safety. I shall crawl. Get off of me! Again. Nice. How's the audio, guys? Still good? Let me know. Alright, kill somebody! These little assholes! I'm mashing the shit out of Q. My heart hurts! Game sounds a little loud to me, but I don't know uh, if it seems like it's fine for you guys, then, then you know, I'll leave alone. Take him into the- yeah! We got trampled by horses! Audio still good? In-game sound is loud? I'll turn it down just a tad. Oh, Robert's alive, nice. Fuck, dude. You got smashed by a fucking horse. That's no way to go. We buy Lord Forrester. Shit. Got Damn. It. Did you find Roderick? He's dead, dude. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. He dead, yo. He dead. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I had to leave him. I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Your squire's dead, bro, because he's Quickly. stupid. Because he's ignorant. Look at this fucking guy. Give me that weapon. You little bitch, give me that weapon. Come on, get up! There you go. Get sliced in half, dude. No time to smile. Oh shit. See? You got to keep your wits about ya. Go, my lord, while there's still time. That means I go with you, right? Because I'm your squire. I hope that guy lives. Even though he was being kind of a dick to me. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. What are you saying? <laughs> He's gonna give me a sword. Oh yeah, he bleeding out. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no. There's no. Uh, oh, no, I'll take it. I'll take your. I'll take your sword, dude. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me. He will remember that. He's gonna be dead in a few moments. Bye. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear. I will. Go, my lord. I swear, me lord. It's those foresters. Now go. On oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Fuck him up, bro. We love no! <sighs> Run, dude. Run. Why are you still here? He said go. He said go! Alrighty. Damn. Alan McGallan, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Zimbrare Bros, as well as Laser Beam and Livy to Cookie Monster. Welcome to the Zimbrare Bros, all of you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Da -da -da -da.
I didn't mean to click out like that. I just wanted some echo. Wow, that was my bad. Hold on, there we go. Did it again. Hodor. Episode 1, Iron from Ice. I haven't clicked in on the game, right? Yeah, we're good. <coughs> Still a bit loud? Yeah, I know it's a bit loud. It's also gonna be louder when, uh, when, you know, all sorts of music and stuff's going on. I'm just gonna put it down to, like, four, and we'll see what it's at. It's always gonna be quieter when, like, dialogue shit's happening, but... I think you're right, I think you could stand to go down a little bit. Hi, little piggy. Use Waz to move and look. Uh, uh, sorry. Use Waz to move and the mouse to look around. Right. Just walk. No need to walk slowly. Ooh. Why am I examining the blood? Blood. That's blood. For a second, I thought it was from the pig. Fresh. <laughs> look at that. I'm doing like a little dance. Hodor was a DJ at my uni last month, Max. Yeah, I know he's a DJ as well. It's kind of funny. I'm sure the Game of Thrones, uh, his part in Game of Thrones has uh, definitely helped him pick up more gigs as a DJ. Well, that's blocked up. Let's go walk over and look at this. Want to look at it. What's so special about this cart? That's father's car. Are you just gonna play the full part? The first part? There is no second part to play, so. Yes, I will be. Uh, Lord, I'll only be playing the part that's out. Titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Oh man, they're killing the pig. Are those friendlies? I can't tell. Hello. Long boy, there's nothing for you here. Who are you? I said move on, unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The stocks are dead. Am I gonna have to kill this fucker? Where'd you get that? S Don't. Don't. Never you mind. Chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Lord Forrester gave me this sword. Hmm. Forrester. I should have known. I'm gonna kill the shit out of you. Come on! That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. You little bitch. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. You little fucker. Come on, let's dance. Is that my dad? That is my dad. He's fucking dead, dude. He's so dead. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. I'll have your head. Come get it. Come get it, you bastard. Yes. Uh, yes! He's gonna uh, kick my ass, probably. I would imagine somebody's gonna intervene. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, well, I'm, I'm fucked, aren't I? I'm gonna die. Alright. Finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. God damn it! Dude, that was... I'm a piece of shit. I can't even Ready fucking fight. Get him! Yeah! Fuck you! I need that sword. He's gonna run away with the fucking sword. He's gonna run away with the sword. I want that sword! I'm supposed to take it back to wherever the fuck I was supposed to take it back. I forgot what the name of it was. 
There you go, grab that sword. Get it back, buddy. Get it back. <laughs> ah, shit! Uh, go, 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 go. Come on. <laughs> Rig it. There we go. Hey, I'm not a, I'm not that much of a bitch. My uh my legs fucked up though. Get down. What are you waiting for? No, Please. kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I beg of you. Kill that fucker. I have a family. Kill that no fucker. Kill that fucker. I have no quarrel with you. He's dead. He's dying. No. Please. You have no quarrel with me? Please. You were all about I slaughtering me, you little you bitch. For this. That much I promise. Cut down his horse. <laughs> I was hoping we got an option to like slice off the horse or something. I am assuming Twitch is still having problems with uh Father, with sending out notifications when people are live. Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. That was fucked up. He was following orders. He's a part of the wrong side, dude. He would have gone after me. Them. He's dead. I don't even know my father. I'll kill the men who did this. Well, I already killed one of them potentially. You don't even know if that guy killed my father, the one who I just killed before. You don't know. You don't know. Iron Wrath. That's where I was supposed to take the sword back. Hi guys. I'm alive. I made it back. Carrot. I was too late. They were already dead. I trod me best. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. It's a nice painting. Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. Good. Because I'll need it for walking and such. was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots... That doesn't make me evil. That guy could have potentially you. killed my family. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Yeah, let me just hold my wound open. Oh, God. That's gross. Ugh! Oh, fuck, that's gross. You putting maggots in there? You. That's gross as shit. The dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a... Is that supposed to fucking... I don't even understand the logic there. Does that... Is that some medieval shit where they don't know any better, or does that actually do shit? To put maggots in a wound. The late was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. What do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether They eat dead flesh? Eat. Oh, alright. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? That's still so I fucked up. From your so let me Lord pour some maggots in that giant life. open wound. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the Is this is this my uncle? I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. Good with a sword. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. No, he's just a maester. Lady Forrester uh. will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. 
to see if you can put any weight on that leg. I can put weight on the leg. Look at me walking around fine, like a boss. Go I'm on. fucking fine. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. I'm good. Look at me, I'm fine. I'm gonna look at the Lord's chair. Pretty fucking great chair. I like our uh, insignia for our, our family, the Forester family. It's pretty cool. Because of them ironwood trees, you can dig. The ironwood grove. And I'm, I'm walking like it never happened. I mean, I got a little bit of a limp, I suppose, but it hasn't really slowed down my actual speed in walking. Let's look at the painting! Or tapestry, rather. I got that <laughs> maggot hype! <laughs> got that maggot leg, man. Got that maggot leg. Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. She's always been kind to me. like I was a forester myself. Am I not a forester? Is that what it is? Oh, no. That's right. I'm... Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Hmm. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Getting some backstory right now. This is good. Who the fuck's Mira? Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Okay. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Maybe. Maybe they will. Lord Forrester. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. And he died like a dog. Like a damn dirty dog. Hold on one second. I'm gonna close the fans on my, uh, my to be computer real quick. I'm gonna keep looking around. Got a nice big fire going. It's nice. That's very nice. Look how well I can walk, Meister. So you don't have to take my leg. I'm good. I guess there's nothing else to interact with, so I might as well look at it. Let me look at your supplies. What kind of supplies do you have? Mm. Ugh. It's gross. I don't want to touch that. Fuck that shit. Pick up these healing herbs. Give me them healing herbs. This Give me the herb, bro. I can just take him. I can just, he doesn't care that I just took his supplies. All right, cool, great. Might as well take some bandages, just in case I have to redress my wound. I suppose. Maybe I should grab some maggots too. Is that possible? Can I take some? I want to touch it. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? <laughs> I guess. They're not really that cute. They're kind of gross. Let's talk to the meister. I mean, I guess I could short so the sh show the sword to him. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through fifty generations of foresters. It's crazy. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. I was hoping I, I could become the lord. I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. It's a little frightening. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. 
Yeah, man, he can't even, he can't even verify that. I could just be saying like, I'm no longer a squire, I swear he said it before he died. Uh. Why, Why do the White hate Hills hate the foresters? I think <coughs> say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Yeah, after a while, you kind of forget why you're fighting, huh? Can I see Ethan? I see Ethan. Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Got a loot player? The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Alright, I'm gonna leave now. I didn't mean to click, never, never mind. mind. I meant to say, can I leave now? Whatever. Let's go. I'm not oh, sure where God. we're going. You do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Only oh, time okay. will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Hello. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Thank you, my lady. Nice to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your I'm family... afraid it is true. My family's dead. I saw them die. I'm so sorry. Me too. Yeah, we're all very sad. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Pip pip. Although they wouldn't say pip pip, I guess. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable Who was I to talking save about? his own son. You were with Lord Forrester. Rory, you know? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. And yet he's still dead. Doesn't look this like a help. so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Your husband's yes, Roderick, huh? I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was Unle there oh, no, oh, no. he said? Maybe Lord Any Forrester. Any last words before he passed, if you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course. Money. I wasn't supposed to it tell her that secret response. message. It's only my uncle. It's too dangerous, especially now. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Who are those dudes? Duncan, this was our land. Uh, Duncan, there they we go. Were our people, your family. That's who I'm supposed to talk to. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do, but now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. The bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Fuck the Boltons. They're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We Fuck them. smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. We need to be My smart. Uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Don't you bring Stark into this. So, what's to be done? Eddard was awesome. I think I spit on my mic a little bit. Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy. Who, how old is, is Ethan? I want to see this guy. I want to see if he's a shithead. He is the lord of this house. Hope we're not dealing with another fucking. Uh, it's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, I think of his name. This, I'll accuse you of murder and us of protecting you. 
The boy was just defending Jeffrey himself. or Jeffrey. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have Fuck the, the Boltons! As any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsey Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Where would I go? But, but where would I go? Where would I go? I don't like the way my guy sounds. I mean, I'm supposed to be like a young guy, I get it, but... But, but where would I go? The boy I don't know where I would go. Well, not in the eyes of the Boltons. But where would I go? I don't... I'm afraid it's the only solution. Dude, my place is here. My place is here? Who would defend My place the is here! You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring I want to stay. upon us all. I know that's not I what I promise I'm not a bitch boy. I know it's difficult to understand. <laughs> but you must think of the house. Ugh. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair. So I'm going to the wall best. now? Why the fuck am I going to the wall? That settles it then. No spoilers, guys. I don't want to have to put it into, uh... You can have my horse. Into a uh, mode, but I will food. if we have that problem. We haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Duncan! I want to talk to you. I have to tell him a message. Word up to He's me. urgent. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Give me a dialogue option to tell him the message. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. Tell him the In message. Heart, I know I'll see you again. Man, this is Game of Thrones. Anybody could die. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. There you go. Tell him. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. You know what that means? Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wild The hell is the North Grove? And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. I you did. haven't told anyone else, have you? No. I ain't told shit. important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. I kind of look like Lord Ramsay. And sound like him a little bit. Secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. I want to know. Tell me. A word of it to anyone at the wall. Tell me what the North Grove Become is. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Going to the wall, huh? <sighs> I don't want to go to the wall. I don't want to. Iron from ice. Iron. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll, I'll serve, serve with, honor. with honor. I know you will. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Makes it makes it better knowing I have you. You got a nice beard too. I like you. I like you, Duncan. You got a strong beard. You've got charisma. You've got chutzpah. I like these other fuckers. I mean, I don't really know these other fuckers, Garrett, but... wait! Garrett, wait! What? You gonna give me a kiss? Oh, well, I guess I'll take that, too. You know, I could die on the road, you know, this could be the last time to kiss me if you... You know, if you had a thing for me. I actually don't know how old she is, so... And I don't know how old my character is, so... They seem like they're around the same age. I don't know. To the wall! Be a fucking crow! 
go to the wall to be a fucking crew or serve as a ranger. And so my watch begins. My character doesn't sound like that, but I'm not gonna try to imitate my guy all the time, because he kinda sounds like a little bitch, to be perfectly honest. Ethan Forrester. So does it swap around how, who I play as? I'm assuming that's how the game goes. Find him. I guess. Did you? If he hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Or too Maybe bad, you're gonna play it. To him. Ethan's fine. You found just me. Just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Yay! Oh, I boy. found you. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it's it. It's a stupid game. I don't you like it. You were gone. Man, I, I ain't gone. Find you again. I'm, I'm sorry, right Ryan. Here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. That's neat. You get to swap around and play different characters. And Asha. And and Roderick. Well, Roderick's Two. dead. Be strong. He's dead. King's Landing. And Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Oh, I'm, I was playing as Garrett, I right? Yeah, that's Garrett. right. He was nice. Garrett is strong. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. <coughs> no one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. I know you'll Who protect said us. said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Well, and can you? I don't know. He calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me, or... Or what I'm capable of. What does Milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... Like a man. That's a good Lord idea. Rick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Captain Diablo, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Welcome to the Sombra Bros. Appreciate that sub. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick. Some nice Asher. form there, little guy. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher. Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. <coughs> I won't get angry, but I can't, uh, you know, I can't promise not to be serious. I am a lord. But you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that. I can't be nice if I'm a lord. I gotta command respect. Uh, since you're the new lord, and talk like this, you can do anything you want. I suppose. I mean, kind of, but I'm not gonna. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Lord Ethan. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. I can't stay with He's you. I got stuff to do. With the Lord. We really must go. All right. It's your decision. You are the Lord. I'll go. Fine. Then. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. That's right, Royland. I know what to do. I'll do my duty. What's well, the skinny, gentlemen? What do we gotta do? Tell me what's up. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? Your business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. 
is, was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. All right. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. It's kind of true. reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule. He's kind of talking as a warrior, though, not necessarily with a rational mind, so... What you doing? What up? What up, Whitehall? You bastard. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Don't touch me. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me. I'll shake his hand, house. whatever. I didn't mean to ignore his hand. God damn it, I meant to hit shake his hand! I meant to shake his fucking hand! <laughs> My Fuck! My regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. You little bitch, your I've true colors are coming out. I've been all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. You're a little and fucker. No bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No I don't courtesies. like him. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. I'm a you lord myself, you little bitch. Shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. I'm gonna ah, be a dick to this guy. We've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. This guy's coming in here and throwing down all sorts of shit. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe yeah, you are. if I hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. I fucking what hate this guy. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? What do you want? Oh, that's that same fucking guy. Little shithead. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Oh, shut Keeping the fuck the up. the peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Bull fucking yeah. shit, you liar! Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig yeah, you should be embarrassed. A pig farmer you killed him. Answer for your squire, Lord Ethan. He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. There's still people, you fucker. Attack? Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. You're a little dickhead. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. Don't you threaten what me. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Yeah, that's right. We got girls too. Lady Forrester. You Lady Forrester. Oh, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. I think you kind of do. Considering your losses and all. I think you might best get stepping, you little fuck. It's over when my son says it is. I've, heard, I've enough. heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Fuck yeah, my mom got my back! Woo! Get the fuck out of here! That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll yeah, that's right. You just keep cowering behind Lord, Lord Bolton. Man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forrester lied to my I face lie to and denied face, me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Look at that guy's stupid ass haircut. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. 
fuck out of here. I think I handled that well. I'm glad I ignored his, his, uh, his handshake, because uh, apparently he's a disrespectful ass either way. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Yeah! You're brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Something tells me we're gonna be playing in King's Landing. Uh, <sighs> Your sister can help us. Although I didn't say help me to my mommy, she, she just, Marjorie you know, Tyrell's she's a respected friend. lady of the house. Maybe Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I'm playing as Mira now, I think. Ethan made this for me. Hmm. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. These names mean nothing to me. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. What's this letter say? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under Isn't Lady Marjorie the one that's supposed to be the queen? I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. I think. I might have it wrong, but I think I'm right. My hair looks so nice and flowing. Ooh, we've got some fruits. Oh, come on, I want to pick out on some fruit. Give me the fucking fruit! I love when you can just free, you know, walk them around like this. I like making them look all weird. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Dusty old tome. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from You're a pretty girl, Max. I know I'm a pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl, and all who are smart will recognize it and respect me and my choices. This is how I sound. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Probably not. Pretty sure it wasn't, actually. Pretty sure it was overcast. I kind of walk a little stiff. Like, look at my arms. They kind of move, but they're all just like... I don't know. Maybe that's just how she is. A letter from my mother. It mother. troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Ah, uh -huh. that's the raven that they sent. I'm assuming, asking for help from Mira. So she's basically asking Lady Marjorie, which I'm assuming is the one that's kind of in line to become queen, if I remember the timeline right, uh, to intervene and help us out. Okay. One moment. One moment. Hello. Oh, sorry, m'lady. You're a dirty boy. What are you doing here? I can come back later if you'd like. Are you my squire? Would he, eh, he's no threat. No, it's fine. Come in. What are you doing here? You poor plebeian. I'm assuming he's my squire. You better not be some sort of sabotage. Or saboteur, rather. Begging your pardon, my lady, but are you alright? Are you alright? You look kinda you kinda you you look a little work, rough. You seem rather upset. I'd rather not it's say. Private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Yeah, you did. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. What are you putting in my pot? Are those like coals or something? You work for Lady Marjorie? I work with I her. Wrong. But it seems like you do. 
It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. Why do you care? What, 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 what? I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Oh, Cersei, okay. Oh, wait, no, Cersei is the one that's currently the queen, right? That's Joffrey's shithead mother. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but... I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? Oh, boy. Some gossips happening. Trouble, but I thought you ought to know. It's a good call. It's a good call. Most Thanks. Most people don't tend to notice a call boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. Thanks. What was your you name? You and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. What was your name? Good night, milady. I will say that is one of the things that, like, seems pretty prevalent in the show and in general. Like, any servant could just overhear just random shit. People just talk like, ah, they're, they don't know what the fuck's going on. There Lady she is. Marjorie. Hello, you know, Lady Marjorie. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. What do you want to talk Come. about? There's something we must discuss. Okay. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. She looks pretty uh, accurate how to how she does in the show. What's happened to your family? I feel your pain as if it were my own. That might be a little bit of an overstatement. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. I need your help. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. Really? But there's another matter we must attend to first. What's that? You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. You getting rid of me? Is that what's going on? Me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Man, fuck you, Cersei, you little bish. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to. Why am I apologizing? I didn't do shit. If it were not important, I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. God damn it. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. <sighs> I mean, if it'll help my family. See if the Queen Regent is ready to you receive know. us. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. I don't fucking know. No point in really being stubborn here in King's Landing. What are you gonna say? Oh, he's gonna look at me. Yeah, all right. Don't listen in on what we're saying. We got. We talk about private girl stuff. You'll be fine. I know you will. We're talking about periods and you stuff. You don't want to hear this. Thing, but you must say another. God damn it! I gotta sit there and take Cersei's shit. She's gonna Good be luck. flinging shit at me. I'm just gonna be like, oh yes, great Cersei. I'm so sorry. I'm a traitor. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I gotta play politics and I don't like it. Hey, Tyrion's there! Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. You can <coughs> Oh shit, we're playing. Uh, I thought it was still like cutscene. Everyone's freaking out because they said the word periods, really, guys? Periods are a thing that ah, happened. Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Easy there. Lord Tyrion. Easy. Your Grace? Oh, he's talking to Lady Marjorie. Never mind, he ain't talking to me. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Marjorie. Alrighty, serving as the hand. Forrester. The hand of the king. Uh, I'm gonna bow my I head. I am honored, Your Grace. I'm not gonna kneel. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. Fuck you, Cersei. House Forrester your is little a northern shit. house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Ugh. Is your family loyal to the king? Yes. 
Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Uh... Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you. If you have any loyalty at all. Fuck you, Cersei! Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. God, I hate you, Cersei. I hate you so much. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. Lady Marjorie got in my head. She's like, say what you, she wants to hear. But now Cersei's all, she's a bitch anyways. Doesn't matter. She's not going to be happy with what I say. others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. It's we true. We are a battle axe for the Northern Army. I'm doing a mix of answers. Question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie God, I hate is Cersei so much. ...to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Lady Marjorie, say something, goddammit. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding... Fuck you, Cersei. Goddammit. I hate talking if to Cersei. there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. I can't really, you like, stand up to her too much because she's fucking Marjorie. queen, man. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your- Why powers. the fuck would Marjorie remember that? You told me to say shit that- Fuck she you, Marjorie. is a threat to the crown, isn't she? God damn it. The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I should have just been a dick the entire time. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Don't look at me like that, Marjorie. You told me to say what you wanted to hear. You fucking suck. There's no pleasing everyone. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. He is an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. God damn it. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. 
I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. Help me I out, Lord Tyrion. The crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Uh. It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Help Please. my house! You are a brave girl, aren't you? I don't really know exactly what that, what implications and, and, and consequences now, that'll happen. But, me, uh, it sounded okay, I think. I don't know. For dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The Good mere night. thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. I know King's it's not Landing the North. It's full of a bunch of shitty ass people. To the uninitiated. King's Landing. Bunch of fucking snakes. Wolves in sheep's clothing. Uh, my goal was to get help for my house, so I mean, if I just accomplished that, then yay. Marjorie, are you gonna come talk to me? I only said what you said to do, which was to appease Mary, the queen. I was worried. Then you got all fucking butthurt. How what do you expect it? me to say? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Not so great. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. You mean a bitch. She's known for being a little bit of a bitch. Lady Marjorie has That's right, a bunch of snakes in the grass. on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. <laughs> what? It's true. Too bad he's too busy fucking his sister. And Oberyn Martell, the same. red viper. Oberyn Martell! I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Stop moving around the seats. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. It's not gonna happen. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Hey, fuck you, man. We were the same shit right now, all right? See, Don't get ahead of yourself. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! I mean, it's not a bad match. What are you doing? Somebody's coming in. Told you, you idiot. Well, I was doing. Sarah, nothing. I told her to stop, my lady. It's, it's true. It's not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Mm hmm. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm sorry, Marjorie. I'm just glad it's over. I'm sorry. That was a weird landing can pause be exhausting music. sometimes. There's always someone to please. I didn't make Natalie Dormer mad. Fucking Sarah did it. I told her to I stop playing like around with the, the, the seating arrangement. Once I know you're she didn't hard, listen. These will have no choice but to love you. She Do didn't listen. People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. 
You learn very quickly. Thank you. Finally getting some favor from Marjorie. The words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Goddamn Skippy, I do. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I'm gonna ask her for help. Fuck this shit. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Leave Whatever us, Sarah. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. God damn it. no secrets between us. <sighs> I don't trust Sarah. It's about my family. I trust her. I don't trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. Get out of here, Sarah! I don't like you! The fuck out of here! It's the right call. I don't care if she gets butt hurt. We're in King's Landing. Everybody's out for themselves. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. Yeah, dude. What would you have me do? Ramsay motherfucking Snow. My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request. Especially now. I know, my lady. And I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. Stop saying that over and over again. She already knows that. Choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. I mean... Is the situation that dire? Yeah, kinda. Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. It's true. Yeah, Ramsay play at Snow that. Will arrive play at, at that. Within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. What you gonna Very do, Marjorie? Well. I'll make your request. Yeah! She gonna make a request! Thank Woo! you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Unless she's gonna stab me in the back and pretend like she said something. I don't know. Lady Marjorie is hard to read. I wanna believe she wants to help me, but, you know, maybe she was too offended that I, you know, tried to appease the queen. Oh, yeah, this guy. <coughs> Garrett, I think? That doesn't sound good. Shut the fuck up, horse! God damn it! Easily spooked horse. Seven good hours. riddance. I don't need him. Dude, are you torturing him? What's what the fuck? There's too many dudes though. I can't do anything. Oh, shit. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Don't look up here. I ain't, I ain't, oh, 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 do you see me? Not my best work, unfortunately. Get back, get back! I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a droning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is how much further is it to these foresters? Oh. Day, my lord. Two at most. <laughs> what was that? God damn it, get out of here! The Lord? Shh! Listen! Get the fuck out of there, Garrod! 
Get out of there. What are you doing? You're supposed to be heading to the wall. There. Shit. I'm so fucked. Hear that? Hear what? You don't hear nothing. I know I heard something. I'm running. Fuck this shit. Run! <laughs> Sweet. I'm running. Good. He was certain he heard Lord something, Egan. so I might as well get the fuck out of there. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. I was worried my guy was going to get shot in the back your with an arrow or something. Who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold. Who seized back the river valley from the White Hills? What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. <coughs> These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel... You better not be chosen. trying to butter me up in order for me to choose you as a Sentinel. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Who the fuck's that? <laughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! Oh boy. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! I don't really like Royland very much. I like Duncan. Lord Ethan. Mist. Who is this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Oh, wow. We you all being... fucking know it! Well, you're Quiet kind of being a little thief. shithead right now. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Interesting. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Royland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. Uh, not true. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. He's right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left You're us making my Lord. house seem Where's weak. Our, pay? our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Shut his ass up. Go. Leave the poor man alone? No. Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. No, it's not. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. I smell dissension Lord, against the ranks. Decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the wall. I'll send him to the wall. Send him to the fucking wall. Send him to the, send him to the wall. To the wall. To the wall! To the wall! Send him to the wall. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice. You're not innocent! You admitted to fucking stealing! Please, my lord, my family depends Go to the wall! I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No! Please, my lord! Get the my fuck out of my sight! Me, they'll die! <laughs> People can't just be doing whatever the fuck they want. Your house will remember this judgment. Hey, he's not dead. And he's gonna go serve that somewhere else that could potentially unpleasant. need him, alright? The Lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Goddamn right. Not just yourself, of course. It's a Lord's duty. So I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of Dude, discord. stop trying to butter me up. You Seriously, what the fuck? You're a meister. You're you're supposed to fucking heal. 
Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. Okay, maybe he's not cho choosing they himself. both want the job. Duncan. Neither thinks very highly of the other. Duncan. I prefer Duncan. I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Sure thing. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. It is my Come duty. Speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. All right. I will. I will do that. It's a pretty cool looking bracer. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I see you eyeing up that bracer. I know. I know what's in your head. Oh, you're doing it too. Duncan, you already got this in the bag. Don't even worry about it. I like you, Duncan. You're, you, you think with your head, you know? Can't have some crazy person like Royland running around. Because I feel like, I feel like the game obviously wants you to like Duncan, but maybe he's the wrong call. I don't know. Let me talk to him. What up, Duncan? I want to talk to you, you son of a bitch. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Although, my father did trust Duncan a lot, so... As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. And Look at his face, like... Ask, why did you send You're Garrett gonna choose me? I did it for your own protection, my Lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself. I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. I understand. And you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I like Duncan because he doesn't make rash decisions based on what's, what's transpired already. But I don't know. I don't know. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. Mm. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. That'd be good. So one thing is, like, if we, if we, uh... If we end up just telling Ramsay to fuck himself... Then, you know, if we're under siege and we're, we're stuck here and we don't have fucking food, we're going to be starved to death. That's no good. Who fucks Malcolm? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. Thanks for the follow, Easy Michael. Thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord. I mean, he was still sent to the wall. Before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. 
But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. Indeed. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for this. <coughs> He'd be a fine choice. Why are you I'm so sure? Trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan Kinda would true. offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. It's kind of true. If you show Ethan, weakness to Ramsay to uh, Snow. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ah. It does. I feel like it might show a little, little weakness if I make Duncan my sentinel. Told me. He's not a warrior. And if Ramsay Snow help. comes in and sees that shit. I knew we could rely on Mira. Maybe he'll think he I, uh, thinks of family you know, above all else. I'm weak. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now <laughs> I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that I feel like a lot of people pick probably Duncan because he's you like an obvious choice and sometimes. easily likable. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. You are the Lord of this house. I know that. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. You already showed him your strength in the hall. Nah, I didn't. Too. That's that was uh, that was the other guy. That wasn't Ramsey. You've always given me Ramsey's a dude we saw a bit Thank ago you. who was filleting a dude. That guy's fucking crazy. He doesn't respect anybody. There's no real reasoning with him. He's just kind of an asshole. Let's talk to you, Duncan. What do you what do you what do you make? Sword up. Swing left. Sorry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs can old swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power. Especially when you're weakened. True enough. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. There's really no winning with fucking. Uh. Hold on. Let me let me talk to Sir Royland again. Yes, my lord. I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. Fucking Ramsey is crazy. It came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrod to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. It's a little true. I never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, fuck it. Let's go, uh, let's go talk to the Meister and tell him to talk, call the uh, small council meeting. I've made my decision. Although there is something I can investigate up here. What's up in the tower? Is that it? I just come up here and look around. Okay, it's just Are look. You holding a sword or a turkey leg? Man, I wish I was holding a turkey leg. I fucking love turkey legs. It's one of the main reasons I go to a renaissance fair. Or anywhere there's a turkey leg. 
Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Why are you talking about chill in my chat? I don't, I don't even know. Someone said make sex. You tell me to make sex with everybody? Um, what is your perspective? Yeah, what what's your is perspective? you doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of Pick gold. Pick the maester. What do you mean? No, I'm not going to do that. It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. Child should have beat Gazzy of the crew. Put a price on he didn't. Life, Deal with it. Or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? I beat Pierre him to fair and squarezies. You're gonna have to deal with it. It should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. All right. Call Lord, together the small are you now council. Ready to name your sentinel. Yes, I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Telltale Games stuff sucks. Well, you can get out of here if you don't like it, to be perfectly honest. I don't care whether or not you watch. If you don't want to watch the, the game that I'm playing, then leave. I'm not here to sate every single person's request and, and wants. At the end of the day, I am going to play what I want to play. It's not a big deal. If you don't like it, come back when I'm playing something you might like. The one thing I don't want you doing is uh, bitching in my chat. You may sit. So please leave if you're going to make I everyone else's Lord experience has reached worse. His decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You are both worthy. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let Don't fucking cut me off like that! Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. You got a friend uh, addicted to your videos? Or to my videos? Thank you. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Get yeah, fucked, Duncan. I'm just kidding. I like you. I, I like you, Duncan, but. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. We need someone strong. That's choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Dude, be gracious in now, defeat. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not true. coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I'll still I listen to him. Would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. That's a small council. Duncan? Just because you're Sentinel doesn't I'm mean sorry, your word Lord is law. You have chosen your Sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. All right. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. I don't know if I like that. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! I 
I really want to fight. But I think it might be suicide. I don't want to just give him ironwood. Uh, the silence is killing me! Diplomacy, bargain, a fight. Appeasement has never worked, yeah. I'm not gonna do bargain, that's gone. Diplomacy, maybe. Ah, fuck it. My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. <sighs> Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you. As we served your father. We're bluffing, uh, essentially, is what we're doing. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate. This probably won't 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 end possible. very well, but you Let know. Let him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers. Yeah, Ramsay to Snow is a madman. Mad That's what I'm saying. Like you don't appease Snow. him, he's gonna see it his weakness. You hall, try diplomacy, he's still gonna to see it his weakness. Lord to Lord. Lord Ethan? He's a little shithead. It will make Ramsay Snow wait at the gates. Uh, there's no need to piss I will him meet off. him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Sit your motherfucking ass down! You little shit. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. Yeah, we do! You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare- Making him wait at the gates doesn't really do anything. It'll just piss him off more. He'll be able to come in, have the opportunity my to lord, pay his respects. Your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted, and no matter what- And if he decides to be a dick, then we'll go from there. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. It shows respect, exactly. Brother, That's the point. Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? Yeah, whatever. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. Did I fight my own battles? I don't know. When Asher saw it. He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside I've got you. Royland. Don't undermine me. I'm the Lord. You stay here. You don't get, get my brother. I'm trying to do what's best. We need this guy here right now. his family needs. You're not the Lord. Ethan, I am. Let me send Malcolm to Essex. No. We need all the men we can keep. 
Sorry, Malcolm. brother, but I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will not go to Essos. That is the final word. Do you hear me? I don't give a fuck if you remember that. He's staying here. Malcolm, you're staying I here. Hear you, but this is a mistake. Well, that's how you I see it. I me with this. I don't trust you know with that it. You never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Asher sounds like a killer. Fetch him. No, man. Asher is necessary. But if he doesn't get here in time, then we're fucked. Apparently, maybe I made a mistake. I don't fucking know. I stand by my decision. I don't give a damn if you think my decision making is shit. It's my decision, and I'll live with the consequences. I don't like my mother undermining me after I become a lord. And I don't like sending another man of mine that I currently have here to go ride off to go grab my brother. When he might not even come back in time when we have people coming barreling down at the gates. It's the right call. Given, given the info that I know anyways. If I knew for sure that he could come back in time to help us, yeah, why not send him? Whatever. The whole reason for me not sending my my other guy Malcolm is because I I want all the men that I have here. I can't sacrifice anymore. Did I just pocket a key? Why did I pocket a key? I didn't mean to pocket that key. Am I picking up random shit? I don't want to... I don't want to steal all this shit. No, no, return the steal. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the... Apparently I went thief mode. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Fuck. <sighs> shit balls. Codex. I didn't mean to take that fucking key. <sighs> Can I put it back? Thank you. You bastards! You made me explain myself and not pay attention to what was happening. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you yeah, subs or uh, mods, if you guys want to throw it on um, it sub only mode for a bit. Anyways, in general, just to uh, you know. We've known each other for years, and yet to be treated like that—it's a private matter. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Friends don't hold secrets from one another. Friends can now, also backstab Lady one another. Thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... <laughs> the key is yours now. Embrace it. I don't even know what key it is! <coughs> My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you alright, My lady? What happened? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. Shit. What happened to Smacker? He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I'm sorry, Marjorie. I laid his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Sorry, Marjorie. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. Well, he's I'm also a little sorry, shithead, sorry, so... Lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. I see her dress is a little torn. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. I don't want this key that I have. I want to put it back. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. What key did I even pick up? I don't even know. I don't want it. She's going to look at the key now, too. What the 
fuck is that? Milady. Yeah? Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. Who is this kid, man? How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I don't know if I can trust I, you. I really must go. Please you might be trying to work your way up the ladder. Who... Easy. Easy does it now. Back off me. Get away. We can't be seen together. I'm willing to help you. Hello? I don't want this key. That's gonna come back to bite me in my ass. I thought I was just looking at the key. I didn't realize I was just gonna grab it. Could have sworn I clicked the thing that said, look at the key. Don't you eyeball me, you son of a bitch. You goddamn Lannister. Where the bloody hell is Well, this could go bad. He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. Of course, my lord. Of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Hello? Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not I gotta stand firm. If there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the Lord Thank you, no, That's enough. Ha 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 ha. You're a bastard. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, shall we begin? We do not wish to waste your time. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Interesting. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A to token face. for the new Warden of the North. I did Let not say guess. to do that. What the fuck? Forrester Iron. I don't remember saying Carved to give him some... Our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our Ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> Why did I jump? I didn't mean to jump. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? No. Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look Show no fear. More Forrester. You leave no the girls Forrester. alone. Come out where I can see you. Uh, or no. Ooh, you son of a bitch, you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah, worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. No. Warden of the North. Uh, Words no. are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. You are not your father. That is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Okay. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots, 
I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar. Would what you? are you gonna do for me, huh? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little law. Oh wait, no, I didn't- What the fuck, no! That's not the option I wanted! They murdered our men. It was a I flight. did not- What the fuck, one no. I thought I was saying- <sighs> One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier. I fuck. I thought I was saying no. I'm not going to give him that stuff. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. This is going not well. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills. We'll be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. That is not happening. What? That the is ironwood. not happening. Mm -mm. No. The White Hills are nothing more than up jump thieves. You that can't is not do happening. that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood. Once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of no. the ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my uh, lord, no. half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble. Lord Whitehill will install a new no, 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 no. Twenty men within no, no. At Iron Rath, That's not happening. That we cannot abide. It's not gonna happen. Ethan. No. That's... They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. I do not accept it. No. Uh uh, you have a man you trust? My son. Uh, Riff. Riff. We I, uh, I do not like this one bit. Seven hells he will. That's... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland. God damn it! Ah! Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Leave him the fuck alone! This is such Lord bullshit. Ramsay, I have no like you. thing to stand on. Lord Ethan's older sister. I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. <sighs> Hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. Had I known I would be able to get my brother before this meeting, I, I would. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. I said, leave them be. He's gonna smack me. I have an idea. You'll come with me. No. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. He does have. Do you like God. hunting? God damn it! I fucking Let hate Ramsay so much. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <laughs> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Fuck you, Ramsay. <laughs> What have you done? But I don't want a bowl, no. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My no! lord! Oh, no. I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! What the fuck? Take the boy as your ward. No. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! 
You will not take no, him! No, please! No, please! No, Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. God damn it! <laughs> That went fucking awful! Ethan <coughs> sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. Ethan this the Dead. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Does Ethan until die Ryan regardless? I don't know. Again, what happens? Our house will not fall. We will be Whatever, ready. he died not being, you know, comes a little bitch cost. boy. At least he, you know, is, you he was brave. What might happen? Had I known that I could actually, you know, what's it called, have my brother get there in time, then yeah, I would have had my brother come, but I didn't know if that was a guarantee, and it made sense to me to keep my guy that was already there, then potentially have Malcolm ride off for my brother, not come back in time, and then we're even weaker than we started, so I still stand by that. You and 52% left Ethan behind, or left Bowen behind, okay. You and 73% swore loyalty to the king. You and 40% sent Eric to the wall. You and 38% picked Royalin as the Sentinel. Yeah, I figured most people probably picked Duncan. You and 63 met Ramsey in the Great Hall. <sighs> Ethan dies regardless, really? Hmm. Should have sent for aid. I didn't know that he would have been able to make it in time. It didn't make sense to send one guy that we already had at our, you know, castle away to potentially go get my brother. And then we're potentially weaker if he can't get back in time, so. I still stand by them. I just say I stand by all my decisions except for the key. I didn't mean to grab the key as Mira. That was just me being distracted and thinking I was examining the key, but whatever. Whatever, it happened. This is Game of Thrones. Shit like that happens all the fucking time. Doesn't surprise me as much as it uh it used to. <laughs> he did save his sister. I mean, he died for his sister to be saved. You know? It was a good game, though. I fucked up a couple of decisions, but whatever, you know? I gotta stick by them, you know? Gotta stick by them. Some people pause out of the game and try to, you know... I like to make decisions in the moment, because I feel like that's how you're supposed to play the game.